Good day everyone. I'm Michigan Brian Patrick Sichua, Group 5. I would like to acknowledge our professor, Captain Sibilla, and also our assessor, Captain Reyes, together with my group mates to make this presentation successful. Our topic is about AIS. So what AIS? It is a tracking system that uses transceiver on the ship and is used by vessel traffic services when satellites are used to detect AIS signature. So first, we just press the power on button and now, as we can see, it is initializing, then after that, press the display button and the information about the target will be shown and this vessel are the vessel nearby. It includes the name of the vessel together with their bearing and range. We can select the target that we want to know about their information by pressing down arrow button. After that, we select a, a target, just press a enter button, and the details of the ship will be shown, such as MMSI, call sign number, IMO number, CPA, and TCPA. Then press the down arrow button to, to see the latitude longitude, SOG, COG, and other information of the ship target. That's all. Thank you. Good day everyone. I'm Mr. Manto Amai I'm going to show you on static data by pressing the display button twice. The information about our one vessel will show it consists of MMSI, call sign, name of the vessel, and IMO number to see the other information of our ship like the destination of estimated time arrival and press again the right arrow button the right arrow button will show the drop of our own vessel and remember the menu button will serve as our own vessel and remember the menu button will serve as our back button or quit if you want to return the previous page thank you good day everyone i am midshipman arieta burayang Micharigi. now we will proceed to the menu to see the other information just press the menu button and we can use the down arrow button to select so now we can see all the information such as message sensor status internal gps user settings initial settings channel settings and diagnostic now i am going to show you the information contained in diagnostic press the enter to select diagnostic and choose the transponder test and press enter now we see the memory and GPS test. So first open the memory test and press enter. And it shows the data determined to its condition of status and press the menu button to back. And select GPS test by pressing the down button arrow and enter to show the status. For the last press, the display button to return in target list. Good day everyone, I'm Midshipman Lapis Raymark, and now I am going to present how to use nav status. First we're going to do, press the nav status button and enter. As we can see, one of the status details, which is at anchor, and press right button arrow to see other details, which are at anchor, not under command, restricted maneuverability, constrained by draft, moored aground, engaged in fishing trolling, underway sailing, reserves for high speed crop and underway using engine. Then press the right button to see the destination of our vessel and press again the right button and to see the arrival time and press again the right button to see the number of crew on board and also the type of number and to see the drop of the vessel. After that press the right button arrow now to go back to the target list, press the display button. Thank you. Good day everyone, I'm Fortas Mark Lovigin L. Now I'm going to show you how to send a message. First is press the menu button and enter. Then now we can see the create message, text log and rx log. Enter the create message. And now see the contained in create message. Then enter the set message. Type it show, the address. Type MMSI. Type channel. Then enter the message type to select a safety of normal, then enter, and press the menu button, 
to back then press the right button arrow to to see a message we can set message through the using of half and press right arrow to to type the another letter and press right arrow for the next letter then after input your message just press enter button then press the right arrow button to send the message then enter now the message is sending then press the menu twice and text log then enter we will see here our data that we have transmitted to other vessel after that we just have to press the menu button again to return the select the rx log simply press the enter button and we will be able to see the message that we received from the other vessel now we just need to press the display button to return to display page good day sir i'm midshipman jeric naval from ns4 a5 now i am going to show how to use dimmer and contrast and how to turn off this equipment we are on the display page so we just simply press the dim button and the level of contrast will appear to adjust the dimmer you just need to press the up and down button and for the contrast you just need to press the right and left button until you set your desired level when you are done you just press the display button again to return the lastly turn of AIS equipment by simply pressing the power on and off as a student of Philippine Merchant Marine School my motivational quotes is life is like an ocean waves will try to knock you down and push you back to where you started but once you fight through them the entire ocean is yours as always thanks for watching see you next time